famous biologist Richard Dawkins once said that we are survival machines, robot vehicles blindly programmed to preserve the selfish molecules known as genes. Uh, you know, basically, we're just the sum of our genes. Yeah, that's basically this reductionist mentality boils down to you are at the mercy of uh, your genes and at your biochemistry. That's a pretty depressing outcome, I think. It is, but it also <laughs> doesn't seem to correspond to the research. I, you know, I've heard about, you know, in talking with you, these studies where they've had rats that are uh, have genes for high stress expression or you know high anxiety, but when they're put into an environment of uh, a nurturing mother rat that they exhibit or their gene expression comes out very similar to the low anxiety rat. So obviously our environment has a great influence as well. Yes, so there's this opportunity for feedback and nurturing is one of those things that can modify your risk for stress and um, actually change gene expression. So we know there's a large component that comes from the environment, but also there's a component that comes, back, uh, comes from what we choose to do with our life and uh, whether we're pursuing happiness or whether we're pursuing meaning. Okay, so you got stress, anxiety, induce, it tends to cause sickness. Being happy is better. Is it just being happy or is there something more to it than just how you pursue happiness? So it's very interesting. They just, they know that stress is so dangerous. It actually makes your uh, T cells less able to fight off um, infection and it also uh, makes you more at risk for um, certain type of cancers. It causes pro-inflammation gene expression. So um, is the antidote then happiness? This is the question that um, a group over at UCLA was asking. And what they saw was that happiness is better than depression, but only, only if you also add to that meaning. So it's not just about I'm happy because I get to go out and surf or ski or drive race cars or read books. It's about doing something that's meaningful and purposeful, that that's, right. that's the kind of happiness that actually is the antidote to the stress-induced environment. Exactly, so for people who did not have that meaning and purpose, their T cells looked as sick as someone experiencing chronic adversity. You know, that's very interesting because when you look at the Bible, there are lots of admonitions, instructions, and wise living, Proverbs that talk about that if we follow God's way, we're going to live long, healthy, productive, meaningful lives. What we see is that it, it isn't about what your genes are, it's about a following God's commands, that by following the wise living, the prescriptive principles and scriptures, that we will live those purposeful, meaningful lives that God has designed us to have.